Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the art episode. God knows what now. I think it's twenty something. I think. I um. Andy and I were talking yesterday, and we both decided that a slight change in the rules is going to be required. Now, this whole twenty-four hours to post thing is fine, but what we're going to do is we're going to make the deadline for every single art now at six p.m. on every day. That way, we are a little bit more. Well, we know where we are then. Uh, it's very difficult to try and keep up. We've both got very busy lives and it's very difficult to try and arrange things around, like, for instance, 5.24 in the afternoon, opposed to 12 o'clock at night, I think the first one was, or something like that. So, I mean, the, the time was slowly creeping forward and uh, at some point it was just going to be reset again. Um, so, we've decided that 6 p.m., is a standard deadline so the new deadline for the art is 6 p.m every day by 6 p.m ladies and gentlemen you will have your art or one of us will do failure art okay there we go thank you very much now down to the question at hand what tv series would i bring back and remake answer pretty much none i already covered this in the last video you weren't listening now you see I don't like remakes. I've never been a fan of remakes, and to be honest, I would rather see an original product than a remake. But as soon as you ask the question, I wouldn't so much like remakes as new series. I wouldn't mind the new Star Trek series, for instance. That would be quite interesting. It's been a while since we've had a Star Trek series. The last one we had was Enterprise, and that doesn't count because it was complete and utter garbage. Now that's not taking away anything from um, uh, Scott back here. I probably pronounced that completely and utterly wrong, but there we go. It's not taking anything away from him. He's a fantastic actor, and I am really actually quite fond of Quantum Leap, which is what sort of brought him to mainstream sort of yeah, you see it. So yeah, I like Quantum Leap and. I didn't like Enterprise. Enterprise was wank. Um, that's a good point. Most Trekkies don't like Enterprise, no. And it, the reason is because the technology is slightly wrong. Uh, they've got stuff they shouldn't have and haven't got stuff they should have. Plus, there's very little beaming. Beaming. We like the beaming. It. It's difficult to explain, but the beaming in Star Trek is what sets it aside from everything else. So, I wouldn't so much like a remake as a new series for Star Trek. In fact, which reminds me, at one point, um, Michael Dorn. Now, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Michael Dorn not only voices Marcus in the Fallout series and the Bethesda video games, well, originally Black Isles and Interplay, was it Interplay or Black Isles? I don't know, digress. Anyway, Michael Dorn. Not only does he voice a pretty sweet super mutant in a game franchise that I happen to be quite enamoured with, um, he also. I was getting to that. If you can hear me. They can. I whispered. He also played Lieutenant Commander War. Aboard the Enterprise and then eventually aboard the uh, DS9. And he is trying to lobby for his own series, Star Trek Captain War. Now, that sounds pretty awesome to me. So, you know, that, I'd like to see that. Using old characters, new story. Um, as long as at some point we do get a cameo from Patrick Stewart. As an admiral. No, not as an admiral. No, no, no. no, no because Picard will never really truly become an admiral. He doesn't want to be an admiral. He wants to stay as a captain. <laughs> so, it, it gets really tricky when it comes to remakes because I don't like remakes I'm not fond of remakes I mean the, the new day of the Triffids like I was explaining in the new episodes wasn't too bad 
The new Prisoner wasn't fantastic, but it wasn't awful. But I could never see anybody remaking something like Buffy or Angel or maybe even, you know, something as trivial as, I don't know, Blake 7 or something like that. I can't see anybody being able to make those. Like Blake 7, I mean, come on, we all know it's a bit kitschy, it's a bit camp and the sets wobble. I, I, fine. But it's not a bad series on the whole. Um, somebody was discussing last night on, um, oh, Rob, uh, solid Rob Taylor from RY4. Last night he mentioned the uh, rehashes of Hitchhiker's Guide. Now, the original TV series for me is brilliant, but the original radio series is even better. Now, the original radio series was the first one after the book. Then, no, yes, radio series. Books, radio series, TV, movie. Now, the reason I actually didn't mind the new movie, but only if you treat it as it is. It's a shortened version of the TV series with new actors because the original actors are getting old. But then a lot of the original actors are in the film. So... You know, um, it's like uh, that Johnny Depp film that came out a couple of years ago, uh, Dark Shadows. Not as good as the original TV series. Uh, the only, as he's saying that though, one thing I will say is I did watch the uh, the pilot episode to the new Monsters, and it was actually quite good. But they didn't option the series, so they, ne they never carried on and made the series, but the, the original pilot was actually quite good. Um, so, I don't know, I mean, like, I love the original Mon Monsters TV series, like I like the original Adams Family, the, the Adams Family films, particularly for me, stand out from my childhood, absolutely fantastic. Um, and brilliant casting, brilliant... You know, whole thing. It looked like it was supposed to look anyway. Um, but those aren't really remakes. They're adaptions. Uh, they're adapting series into films. And obviously, with the time gap between the original series and then the new film, then you're not going to be able to use the original actors. This isn't Star Trek Five. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean. This is where we go. I mean, really, remakes have no place in society except that that's all that's getting made at the moment is remakes and sequels, remakes and sequels, remake and sequel. And eventually, we're going to have remakes of the freaking sequels. So there's going to be completely and utterly no original content. And if you show somebody original content, it's going to be completely and utterly out there. You know, it, it's going to end up like equilibrium. No original thought. No creative thinking. We all must follow one path. Well, I don't want to follow one path. I want to see something new. I want to see something original. I want to see something with a bit of feeling to it. I like indie films. Now, when I say indie films, I'm not like on about like indie films like most people would think about indie films. You know, these low budget, couple of a million pound productions that you see in you know, limited run in your local cinema. No, I, I'm on about proper indie film, you know, grassroots filmmaking, where basically it's two guys and a camera, and they just go out and they make a freaking film. And stuff like Clerks was brilliant because it stripped away all that crap that you get on mainstream media, and it just gave you what you wanted, which was fantastic conversational pieces. I mean, everybody knows Jay and Silent Bob now, and yeah, it, it's become, you know, a trademark for Kevin Smith to have these long dialogue scenes about completely and utterly fucking geek chic. But yes, I mean, for Christ's sake, he even called his daughter Harley Quinn. Um, yeah. But this is the thing. I don't want to see anything remade. I want to see original content. Which brings me around to a segue. Now, of course, 
At some point in the future, we here at RT79 may well bring you some original content. So there we go. There's a little teaser for that. So, I'm going to see Andy's got his idea of what he's going to do. So I'm going to leave the floor open for Andy. I'm not going to carry on speaking now because quite frankly I need a cup of tea. Um, I'm British after all. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've been RY1, this has been ARP, Andy, the floor is open to you. Now, on a side note, please, guys, remember, EFBI still need your help. Uh, that PayPal drive is going really, really well, so keep going with it and just keep, uh, you know, keep supporting the boys. Um, so, guys, I will catch you Friday. Apparently, according to my maths. So, tatty buys. See you in the next one.